Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Today is Sunday and I am going to attempt to show you how I put my hair up. I think it was last weekend, maybe it was Monday, but I've done it two times. There's two ways to do it. You can put all of it up and depending what type of bangs or if you want to leave any out, you can do that. And then last week I did a half up, half down. And that is really what I like the most. So I think I'm gonna do that one today. Let's just see how it goes, because I've only done it one time. It's using the same principle as the other. So what I do first is take out this little bit of fringe, bangs, whatever, my shorter pieces, kind of take those out before I even put them, put anything up. Okay, another thing is, this looks better. I really think you have to have some curl to your ends and you can do it, you can put it up and then take a curling iron and curl your ends if you want to. But what I do is, like I knew I wanted to do this. So I curled my hair, but I went ahead and made the most of it the first two days because part of having long, healthy hair, especially when you're getting it color treated, is doing the least amount possible to it. You don't want to just curl it on a whim. I try to really think about what's going on. Like if I know I'm washing my hair, like tonight, I'll take a shower, I'll wash my hair, and I know I'm doing this video for tomorrow, and then Tuesday I won't make a video. So I probably won't, you know, curl my hair because I don't want to do that damage, you know, for no reason. So that's how I think about it. Another thing that I do is, because I don't like really fluffy, fixed hair, I think this is like more of a messier style. Last night, I, let me get the oil, and I do this every night, either every night or every morning. I never go a day without putting oil in my hair, some type of oil. Usually it's this, which is the Colleen Rothschild Smooth and Shine Hair Serum. So last night, I knew I was gonna wear my hair up today. So what I do is I brush it out with my Olivia Garden brush and I put oil. I put it all in. I'll take it and I'll just squeeze it like into all of these pieces and I'll get it all over. And then I slept with my hair up last night. That's another thing. I sleep with my hair up when I want to preserve the style. If it's a day like tomorrow and Tuesday where I'm not really, I'm not curling it, I'm not gonna really have that much of a style, I'll sleep with it down. That way you don't get any breakage from wearing it up. It's just good to alternate that. It's not good to wear it up every single night. And now I know that my hair is not, you know, knotted or anything. And like I said, I'm going to, and this is not a neat, hairstyle. I think if you try to go in and do like this and this and, you know, really get a neat hairstyle, I don't think it's going to look as good. So I just take, you know, what I want to do as like a half up. And I try to, I'm not one who really likes, I don't know, precision like people that have like two definite little pieces sticking out. I don't really like that. I would rather something just, like I'm gonna keep these out because it's gonna be part of the style. But I don't like to just, I don't know, if something comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's kind of how I feel about it. I will try to, because this part is kind of strong here, I'll just take my fingers. Oh. Oh my gosh, I forgot one of the most important parts. I was thinking, gosh, my hair's dirty. That's part of it. Okay, I'm getting nervous and I'm missing places. Okay, so the first thing you do before you even do this part is you can see my hair is oily because I have basically oily hair, but because it's long and color treated, it's only oily at the scalp. So I'm gonna take some dry shampoo. This is Joico Weekend Hair. I think if I had to say Bumble and Bumble and let's see, what is the other one? IGK are my favorite. So spray it in there. I usually do like three sections. And you know, let it dry before you 
rub on it. Okay, and then give it some zhuzh. Okay, so you can see that really, I might even give this a little bit of I'm going to let it dry for a minute. Give it some zhuzh right there. Yes. Okay. One of my favorite products. This will be, I can tell it will be in my empty soon and it will be in my favorites. This is the Wow Color Wow Style on Steroids Performance Enhancing Texture and Finishing Spray. Get sexy texture and record setting results, non-stiff, non-sticky hold with thermal protection. I use this a lot. I mean, I use it definitely anytime I want more body, but I also use it when I put my hair up in Velcro rollers. It definitely gives you a lot of volume and it's kind of like a hairspray. Okay, so here we go. Now, take these pieces out. And now, take your hair, your fingers and pull this hair up. And I mean, it takes, it's so easy, but it does take a few minutes because you don't want to have to keep doing it over and over. <laughs> you want to kind of do a one and done. And I kind of make sure, since I know I'm going to have to do like a ponytail type step, go ahead and, um, you know, get this separated out. Okay, so like that. Okay, these little hair things, I love them. I think the first time I got these, I got the bigger ones for medium hair. Here it is. This is the bigger one for medium hair. I went back and got the ones for thinner hair so I could do more styles like this. Okay, this is the tricky part. It is for me just because it's so different than what I usually do. Okay, so you're gonna do a ponytail Get it where you want it. A ponytail. Okay, again. And then the trick is when you do this ponytail, you're going to pull it through like that, where it leaves you all of this in the front and it leaves you with this in the back. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to pull it through. Yeah. Then you will have this, okay? So I don't want this just like bopping all around. So what I do is kind of take it and, you know, even it, yeah, even it up a little bit. And I take this little, you could do a bobby pin, but I kind of like these little jaw clips and just barely, okay, that's not gonna do it. I might have to use a bobby pin today because it's kind of a messier little fun thing here. And these are irritating because they do get caught in your hair. Okay, let me get my ponytail sorted out here. I like these. These are my favorite bobby pins. They are the Kitsch Essential Bobby Pins. They're real pretty. If you have blonde hair, they're like a pretty gold. Okay, so I'm just gonna, yeah, basically tack that down. And then I'm going to take these pieces and do the same thing. So depending on how long your hair is, if it isn't as long as mine, you may be able to leave these pieces out and get that same look. But I know, and I have, I have, have the hair pins here, but I prefer the bobby pins. I think when you're used to using something, okay, you just have to arrange it how you think it's going to look best. And like if you need to put that piece down, 
Okay, so now I've got these pieces. So I think what I want to do is, there's two ways you can do it. You can do your bobby pin in the hair like this, and then you can kind of place it where you want it like that, but you risk having something like this. And I think it's easier to just place it the other way. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I don't want these loop-de-loops. So, okay, here, I want it messy. So I think what I'm gonna do is just pin that. Okay, yeah. So you can have some loop-de-loops coming out. And then I like to pull some of that down. And now to, I'm gonna do, instead of doing um, the texture spray, I'm gonna do the dry shampoo. Give that a second to, I'm gonna actually, I know I'm gonna wear a jacket today because it's kind of cool, but I wanted to bronze my, just my chest. I'm gonna wear a, I think I'm gonna wear just, I don't know, I'm gonna wear a moto, I think I might wear a blazer today. So we're just gonna bronze that up while I'm waiting. Give all of this a zhuzh, and there you go. I think it's pretty, I'm going to say kind of like a Pamela Anderson hairstyle just because she was famous for having that updo with all of the stuff up here. And then what I like to do is just tuck it. You can leave it out or you can tuck it behind your ear. And I kind of like to tuck it just because I think it's, I don't know, it doesn't get on my nerves as much, but if it comes out, I don't worry about it. It's just a good, messy updo. And we have one final step. Hold on. Here we go. I think hoops are a must. These are the smaller favorite hoops. I never thought I would prefer the smaller ones, but I do. The bigger ones get caught in my hair. And I just think these are the absolute perfect size. So here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, let me spin around. I haven't even looked at the back. I do usually look at the back. Okay, yeah. That is perfect because you want it to be, see if I didn't tuck it under right there, it would just be like a big booth, like big crazy looking thing. It would be like bobbing around when I walk. You want it to be messy back right there and then messy up here, just kind of messy all over. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe next weekend we will just do the all of it up and we'll do that fun. See you then. Bye-bye.